This week on Savage Wild, we're exploring Northern Florida's Santa Fe River on the hunt for the most dangerous turtle on the planet, the alligator snapping turtle, growing well over 200 pounds. This turtle is like a swimming bear trap. In my entire life, I have never seen an alligator snapping turtle in the wild. And I can't wait for my first encounter with this animal. I am Manny Puig. I have spent my whole life learning to survive like Tarzan in the most dangerous and primitive wilderness where you can be killed or eaten. I have learned the ways of giant man-eating predators, deadly sharks and reptiles, where every encounter may spell disaster in the savage wild. Welcome to Florida Santa Fe River. It is the southernmost range of the alligator snapping turtle. Not only is it the largest freshwater turtle in the world, it is also the most dangerous turtle in the world. Many toes and fingers have been amputated by this creature. Throughout most of its range, the alligator snapping turtle was hunted almost to extinction as a source of meat and also for its skulls and shells as novelty items. But this section of the Santa Fe River it has a healthy population. It was never trapped out. And there are reports of 100 pound turtles still living in this river, which is rare because most areas have been so hunted that it's very hard to find the large old turtles. I have caught a lot of common snapping turtles, but I have never caught an alligator snapping turtle in the wild. The Santa Fe River is home to a rich variety of wildlife. And to help us locate an animal as elusive as the alligator snapping turtle, we have brought along expert guide, Shadhouse. He knows this river and he knows turtles. As we gear up, I am concerned about my cameraman, Quetti, getting bit accidentally. Be careful with you, any rock or any hole you stick your hands into, because we're gonna be in tight spots. And but danger element, the main thing is, they snap and anything is near them. So if you put your hand, it looks like a rock. You put your hand in front of his face, He's gonna bite you. Okay. So yeah, just look careful where you put your hands and what you get, you get near, that's it. As long as you don't put your hand in the wrong place, you should be fine. And of course, you're, you're, you're very familiar with gators and water moccasins and other things that are found out here. Yeah, you know, this. Right, but I do, have, I do have tunnel vision, I'm looking at the camera. So right, right, no, I'll be, I'll be looking around. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be in front of you, poking, poking around, looking yeah. around and everything, you know, and I mean, people think it's just alligators and, uh, and cottonmouths. The only thing that can hurt you out here. No, a uh, snapping turtle can remove fingers. Sometimes if it bites you an artery, it's even possible, potentially it can even kill somebody. Yeah. So it's, uh, I, I don't underestimate any wild animal. The Santa Fe River is very murky. And along the shore are fallen trees that are perfect hiding places for the snapping turtles. But turtles are just one of the many types of aquatic life found on this river. Look at, look at, look at that, he grabbed onto me, look at this. Wait, this is looks, it's, it's like a lobster. This is the biggest crayfish I've ever seen in my life. This guy, look at this, it's, it's, he's on steroids. Yeah, to me the crayfish is like a freshwater lobster. They're usually a lot smaller than this. This is a very large one. I mean, the claws are enormous, he bites and everything. Look at this. I mean, this is a tasty morsel of food for people or fish. Everything would love to eat this. Uh, big bass, uh, of course uh, a turtle, a snapping turtle love to eat this, anything.
as I continue my search for the alligator snapping turtle, I can tell I have my work cut out for me. The vegetation is so dense. I can pass right by one without knowing. And the first turtle I encounter appears to be a victim. Good. Look, it's a, a first turtle of the yellow belly slider. Super common. Man, something bit the daylights out of his shell right here. He's got a horrible scar. Look at it the, right there. Look at the damage on that shell. Well, it's the first turtle of the day. At least it's not what I'm looking for, but it's getting me warmed up, you know. I, I, uh, I can feel it in the air. Okay, I'm gonna release him. I am exploring the Santa Fe River in North Florida, living in these murky waters. It's the largest freshwater turtle in the world, and in my opinion, the most dangerous. Finding an alligator snapping turtle in this river is gonna be tough. I have never seen one in the wild before. And this makes me even more determined. One thing I can say for sure about the Santa Fe River, it is the giant crawdad capital of Florida. Every crawdad looks like a small lobster. And they seem to be everywhere. This is a good sign, because they would make a good meal for an alligator snapping turtle. This tough guy just stands his ground as I approach, then decides to make a getaway crawdad style. Every river in Florida is unique. They all have something different to offer. And the Santa Fe is slowly revealing its secrets to me. In a tangled mass of weeds, I find something interesting. A small cousin of the alligator snapping turtle. Another species of turtle. It may not be very big, but this is a baby mud turtle. It very much resembles a snapping turtle. Look at that, it's big right there. And uh, it has a short tail, very short tail. Unlike the, uh, the snapping turtle has a very long tail, gator-like, alligator-like tail. This has got, the mud turtle is a little one. That's the main thing you notice, the differences. It looks like a baby snapping turtle, but it's actually a baby mud turtle. I can see why this river has a healthy population of snapping turtles. The murky water and the tangled bottom, combined with plenty of food, are perfect for them. And it isn't long before I find another snapping turtle. Oh, call the snapper. Oh, wow. Well, second snapping turtle a day. It's not an alligator, but it's a common snapper. There's a lot of difference between an alligator and a common. The main thing is the common has a longer neck, the, the beak is a little different, and the back, the scoots in the back are not as pronounced. See, it's a smoother, flatter shell on the back of the common. 
saying it, it's a more uh, active turtle. It travels around a whole lot more and everything, while the alligator snapper is more stationary. And this is, uh, they scavenge more. Like I said, the alligator snapper is an ambush hunter. This one travels around a lot. But you gotta be real careful because you don't wanna hold them like that. You know, back here, because the head can come all the way back here. It's amazing. But yeah, they both have, most people see a, a common uh, snapper and turtle and they go, oh, it's an alligator snapper, it's an alligator snapper. They always, you know, they don't know how to tell the difference. The main thing is, is the distance of the neck. That's the most obvious thing. And smoother on the back. See, look at the claws on it. See right there? If I didn't have gloves on them, it'd be cutting me. My fingers would be bleeding right now because it, it takes its claws and it digs, it digs on me. And they are, I don't want to get anywhere near that head. chances with it. As I released a common snapper, you can see how good they are at swimming. Paddling along with their feet. An alligator snapper swims with its tail. With its feet trailing alongside like an alligator. So far, my search for an alligator snapping turtle in Florida's Santa Fe River has turned up lots of giant crawdads. A slider turtle with a vicious bite wound on its shell. A small mud turtle. And a common snapping turtle. Oh, snapper. This river is full of wildlife. And I feel it's just a matter of time before I find the baddest turtle in the neighborhood. Using a stick to poke around in the dark pockets of the shallows. I continue my search for an alligator snapping turtle. I love exploring these rivers. They are full of surprises. One moment you're alone, and the next you have unexpected company. Two manatees are moving beneath us. And both are very large animals. Every wildlife encounter is exciting to me. I see his face, he looked at me like Chris. I was right, I had to touch him, but I was right next to him. He was gentle swimming under us. Right there, Quentin was swimming this side, the manatee was right here and I was right above him. I mean, enormous too, you know. It's not a predator, but it's a huge, magnificent animal, man. I was all of a sudden, the water is murky, and all surprised there he was, right in my face. Got me completely off guard. All of a sudden, it looked like the bottom was coming up. The bottom was moving. Incredible, man. Well, I have spotted a turtle under this pad of weeds but it's murky and the weeds are so thick. I might lose a turtle, but as I search the edge, I suddenly spot my very first alligator snapping turtle. It's not huge, but it's the first one I've ever caught in the wild. Look at that, look at that. Whoa. Hey man, look at that mouth, man. Wow. This is my first alligator snapper ever, ever. I've never seen one in the wild, nothing. Look at that, look at that head. Oh. Man, he's got a super, super sharp beak. I'm just gonna examine this, guys. I never, ever get to see this. It looks like a dinosaur. Oh. One of the main differences between the, that I see between a common uh, snapping turtle and the alligator snapping turtle, if this is a common, I wouldn't hold it like this because his head, it's got a real long neck and his head would reach back and bite my hand. While the alligator snapper cannot reach any further than this. Now, the alligator snapper grows so much bigger and his mouth is so much bigger and their hunting methods are different. Now, if you can see right in there, there's right there, there's a little, like a little worm right there, right, where the water's dropping, right there. This looks like a little tiny worm in there. That's his bait. It's, it's like an angler. 
it'll it'll move that and the fish thinks it's a worm it'll crawl in there and poof, just like you saw and that will snap down on them that's how now the common is more active moves around more it runs around as more of a scavenger well this one is sits there and and waits and ambushes prey it doesn't burn as much energy that's why these turtles will move around they just sit there and they grow and it takes forever to grow uh, some people believe they can live to hundreds of years old I return the alligator snapping turtle to the bottom. He seems unfaced by the encounter, but I am thrilled. This is a first for me, and I'll remember it forever. And let me tell you, it may not be the biggest alligator snapping turtle, but I am 100% satisfied. I'm gonna keep looking for more, but if I don't find another one, that that is my first time ever with an alligator snapping turtle. So I'm like, I'm not complaining. I am 100% satisfied with that creature. I mean, it's so much easier for me to find alligators and other things, but uh, snapping turtles are such elusive and mysterious creatures they hide so well they bury in the weeds and the mud and everything and uh i think they're a lot more common you know than than i would think they are because i've been diving all my life and i don't see even common snapping turtles i don't see that many at all they're both snapping turtles are very elusive i see a lot of slider turtles a lot of social turtles but rarely do i even see a, a snapping turtle and I've seen, you know, several common snapping turtles. I've caught plenty of those over the years, but never alligator snapper. We explore a new section of the Santa Fe River. And the shallows are swarming with small fish. could explore this river for days and never get bored. It seems to hold a new surprise around every bend. Like this pocket of largemouth bass. What an amazing sight, a fisherman's dream. And then I can hardly believe my eyes. Walking along the bank, I find a big, fat alligator snapping turtle. <laughs> Look at it! Look at this! Wow, man! <sighs> man, we caught him crawling. He was going to get under this mat right here. <sighs> and once he got under there, I never would have been able to get him. Look at this! This is, I've never, ever, ever found such a large freshwater turtle. Look at this beautiful alligator snapping turtle. Look at the jaws on this thing. <sighs> Man, this is a rare, rare find. I, I see alligators down here, big garfish, all kinds of things. I never, ever gonna see a, a, a turtle like this. This is a prehistoric monster, man. This is the gnarliest, most ferocious turtle ever, man. See the tongue in there? That's what, you look in there real careful. That's what it lures uh, the fish with and it clamps on them. This animal is so secretive. It'll lay down there and hide and hide, don't move. It rarely comes out, it buries in the mud and it ambushes fish when they come into its mouth. It's a dinosaur and uh, nobody knows how long they live. This is actually a really nice size one. Let me show them. When I get here, let me show you a really good look of them because it'll be a long time before I find another one like this. Look at the shell. Look at look at the way the shell is. Now, remember the alligator snapping turtle's neck cannot reach out. You know, it can't go out here like a common snapper. It's got you got It's got to be in close quarters. But that jaw, that two points right there, whatever it gets in that peak, and it's an incredible, incredible amount of pressure it'll put in there. 
I just gotta be real careful. You don't wanna land your finger. You can bump an alligator and sometimes get away with this. But if you bump a turtle like this, your hand goes in front of it, whatever, your foot or hand, it's gonna get crushed. This is like a, it's actually, I consider extremely dangerous animal if you're poking around in the bottom of uh, rivers where it lives. Look at the claws on it. It'll run on the bottom. Look at his eyes, man. Wow. It's heavy. Heavy, heavy. Well, I'm gonna... We got him good. I'm gonna put him back. Wow. I mean, I really want to check him out some more. I want to enjoy every minute of this. Look at this. Look at the long tail. Yeah, it's like an alligator. It's almost like an almost half half alligator put inside a shell. But this is not a, a regular turtle. This is to me the most ferocious turtle in the planet. incredible day on the Santa Fe River. I mean, four types of turtles. We had mud turtle, slider turtle, common snapper, and my first ever encounter with an alligator snapping turtle. And don't forget manatees, giant crayfish, and I'll see you next week on Savage Wild.